Hello nieces, hello nephews, it's your Uncle Charters here and welcome back to my YouTube channel where we do unbiased technical analysis. Now yesterday we talked a little bit about the CPI, okay? Not trying to predict the future but try to prepare for it and Uncle mentioned if, uh, the expectation number was 7.9 so if the data came in higher than 7.9 we could have gotten a bearish reaction but if it came in lower, if inflation came in lower than expected could get a bullish reaction and guys looking at this daily chart holy moly big massive gap up because yesterday we closed around uh 374 we gapped up and hit around 395 high today over 20 dollars holy moly let's talk about this let's go all right guys so like i said cpi came in lower than expected this could justify you're probably gonna hear this in other youtube channels as well but this could justify the feds coming with a lower rate height and the next one all right and the next rate hike. just saying inflation is came in lower 7.7 percent is still technically high but we are heading to the right direction i mean come on we should be happy about this right if inflation is getting lower you know that's good for us however if you traded bear bias today may not have been good for you guys all right um you know we looking at this chart this 15 minute chart for educational purposes guys you guys know my trade setups my trading system already if you've been watching me for a while okay i use the 15 minute chart to execute my trades all my levels are based on the daily and the weekly chart if it breaks out of resistant I look for calls if it breaks down on support i look for puts if it gives me a false breakdown setup i look for calls if it gives me a false breakout setup i look for puts okay so when we got a big massive pump like this this is the reaction from cpi you know it's it's, it's really hard you know so what do you do from there it's really hard to trade. What do you do from there? Because you you might get caught chasing. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to call the top and try to short it either. Best thing I always say to you guys, got to trade based on the setups. I have my setups which I just meant to you guys on when I would buy calls and when I would buy puts. I cut loss when my trade is invalidated. Okay? And that's what you guys always got to do as well. And you guys can see here I have my levels all these lines, they're my levels or zones. And I had a level right here around 388. We cleared it and it pumped all the way to my next level around 390. I just play it level to level. I leave a runner. I play it to the, and then, you know, and I, I reset for the next setup. Okay. See here, hit my level, back tested the level. You know, the back test and go strategy when we clear resistant level, we want to see that resistant, resistant level get treated like a support, found buying pressure. And it just continued pumping up. Okay. Boom. Broke 390. When it hit the next level at 392. Level to level. Just buying calls when the resistance clears. Now here's where it gets tricky. Here's where it gets tricky. It broke down right here. Here's where it broke. That hit 392. Then broke down to 390 level. Giving us a false breakout setup. Right. And I tell you guys all the time. I love this setup. It's one of my favorite trades. It's a high probable trade. But that's that's the thing. It's a high probable trade. It's not a 100% short trade because when it broke down, it broke back up, giving us from a false uh, false breakout setup right here. Then it gave us a false breakdown setup. So from one level to the next. So using these levels, it helps us at least know when to cut our loss as well. It helps to find our risk. It helps us when to enter, when to exit. So if we enter puts here, we will cut a loss. And there's nothing wrong with being wrong. What's wrong is stubborn holding a position when you know what's wrong, right? You got to be nimble in this market. You got to be humble and nimble in this market. Cut loss, play the next setup from one setup to the next. And look at that, recaptured 390 and it triggered more upside, okay? These false breakouts and false breakdown setups, they can trigger reversals. But if it doesn't pan out, like something similar like this where you got the, you got the breakout but then it doesn't work, Usually, it's a trend continuation move, okay? This could be a liquidity grab because that 390 level was very critical. Anybody who tried to long here may have set their stop loss here 
They got taken out before the real move, before the continuation. So it could be liquidity grab. When the trend is strong, these things tend to happen. So just something to watch out for in the future, okay? So we're watching the daily chart here. I got this bear flag, okay? We tested it, filled it out. Amazing. So, guys, tomorrow is Friday. Ever since the last CPI that started off this rally back in October 13th, we had this situation with Friday becomes the opposite of Thursday. Call it, I call it Freaky Friday. Okay, so you see on Thursday, the last CPI was very bullish. Next day, bearish. Okay, we're moving. Thursday right here, bearish. Next day, bullish. Moving Thursday, bearish. Next day, bullish. Thursday, bearish. Next day, pop up, bullish. Okay, so today... Okay, it's been happening since the rally started in the last CPI, okay? Before that, didn't work. I'm just saying it's been working the last four times. Today is Thursday. Could we get another Freaky Friday tomorrow? Especially with it hitting this resistant level right here. All right? So here's the levels. Here's the setups. Resistant of this bear flag is at 395.5. If it clears, that's the break of the, of the bear flag. That's bullish, guys. RSI is not overbought just yet, all right? Just something to consider. Above that, uh, I got the next critical resistant at 398.5. And then I got the 61.8 Fib level from August high down to October low at 399.79. We can round that to the 400, make it even, okay? So above 395.5, 398.5. And 399.79 or 400 are the next critical resistant levels. Bears must defend there. Okay? If it breaks out of 395.5 and break back below, that's a false breakout. Just something to keep in mind. All right? Now, as far as today goes, of, of critical levels that were clear today, that's that 390 level. That's a 50 percent fib level from august high down to october low all right that's the big level that was recaptured today so if spy loses this level tomorrow and drops back below 390 this right here was a false breakout play that false breakout that's very bearish that's when you look for puts okay so below 390 get bearish all right above 395.5 get bullish that's a breakout of this bear flag all right Maybe we'll see some chop tomorrow, but we'll see. But like I said, we could have a potential Freaky Friday. It's been happening since this rally began. Let's see if it'll, if it'll continue, okay? Just know the levels, know the setups, and just trade them, okay? Right now, it's around 395. I got 393.5, uh, 392, then 390 critical level that we need to watch out for, okay? Below 390, like I said, it's bearish. I got 385, uh, 388. 386 got gaps around here around 386 and um around 382 383 zone then the next critical support around 380 all right best time to get bearish is below 390 right now we'll see what happens how the market reacts can we get that freaky friday action okay triple q i had a trend line right here connecting october 25th october 26th and november 1st high we broke out of it Okay, that's around uh, 278.7. So, Triple Q is w well above it right now, but that will be a critical support to watch out for tomorrow. So, below uh, 278.7, 278.5 is zone. Today was a false breakout, and we could see more downside. Okay, 277, 273.2-ish. Okay, 269. Those are the next critical support levels to watch out for, okay? But as long as this breakout holds, next critical resistance is at 284.6, 287.8, 291, and 294. All right, 294 is the 50% retracement level. 284 is the 38.2 retracement level. Just something to keep in mind, all right? Tesla gave us a nice bounce today and recaptured that 180. Uh, 187 level that I had okay so that will be first support for tomorrow next critical resistant is around 195.5 to 196 zone needs to clear that to put 199 to 200 
uh, resistant zone in play. Okay, that's based off if I zoom out, that's based off this white line, this white triangle pattern right here. Okay, this white line above 200 would be a recapture of this white uh, trend line right here. Okay, that would be a false breakdown setup. That would be bullish. Okay, so Tesla to be bullish really must get back above the 200 level. Now we're gonna end this with the option flow right here filtered for 500K premiums or above. You can see this time today, pretty bullish, 68% in the calls, okay? So we're seeing big money betting to the upside today, okay? Not really sticks out except for this one, 1 1.8 million, it's over 6,000 in size. They entered around 386. So they made good money on it today. December 16th strike price with a 410 uh, a strike price. Okay, December 16th expiration date, excuse me, with a 410 strike price. Triple Q, 63% in the calls as well. Holy moly. Big money is bullish. Look at this. Millions of dollars worth in calls right now. 5,000, 5,000, 7,000 in size. All right. These are September 15th for next year. Okay. This was a November 11th, so this was uh, probably a trade, maybe a day trade, I don't know. But these are pretty bullish stuff that I'm seeing now, okay? Big switch from yesterday. Although yesterday, if you guys watched the Triple Q part, which is now, I did mention that all those put contracts, those very in-the-money put contracts, we saw, you know, I mentioned it. Last time I saw it, it was bullish, and today we saw that it was bullish again. So take note on that, guys. Those are signs that you know they were hedges okay instead of actual short positions let's end this with tesla yes tesla is bearish interested okay so this uh yeah this is pretty aggressive sweep order 1.9 million over 5,000 in size 150 strike price for december 16th okay that's pretty aggressive bet to the downside okay so that does not look like a hedge to me. That looks like a legit short position. Okay, guys. So I hope you guys found some value in this. If you guys want some more content from Uncle Chadis and support the channel, please consider joining the Discord. I got coupons that you guys can use to get your first month, $50 off your first month. Okay. If not, you can subscribe to my sub stack uh, to get my morning analysis spy. All right. Thank you guys so much. Peace. Okay.